Hi, and welcome to this special broadcast directly from our studios at Cornerstone Baptist Church in Orlando, Florida. My name is Edgar, and today I have a special treat for all the women who are listening, and it's a special invitation to our 2015 Women's Conference under the title, Tested and True, Women and the Truth of Christian Suffering. This Women's Conference will be hosted at Cornerstone Baptist Church the 17th and 18th of July. The women will greatly enjoy a time of fellowship, joyful worship and music, and biblical teaching. And speaking of biblical teaching, allow me to present our special guest who is joining us via phone all the way from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Miss Susan J. Heck. Thanks for taking the time to join us on this broadcast, Susan. Thank you, Edgar. It's good to be here. Well, it has definitely been a blessing to have you join us these past few broadcasts, Susan. And I know the women who are listening have been highly encouraged by the bits of information you have provided of what is to come of our Women's Conference. Now, Susan, moving on to the last session, the title reads, How to Occupy Till He Comes. Let me ask you a question. What are some of the points that First Peter makes in regards to how women should live in our world today? Yeah, you know, we live in an age where, um, you know, we have a lot of different views on eschatology. I always think it's interesting. We just uh, have gone through some things in our church on uh, eschatology. And even in our Reformed church, we have different views. You know, some people are post-millennial, some are all-millennial, some are pre-millennial, all-millennial, on you go. And I like the pan millennial view myself. It's all going to pan out. Me. <laughs> and, so, and, you know, I grew up in a Baptist minister's home, and my dad loved Bible prophecy. That was his thing, and he had a he had a television program called Thy Kingdom Come, and uh, he would uh, begin his program with Maranatha, Our Lord is Coming, and uh, he loved to study the prophetic books, Revelation and Daniel, and he was always waiting for the Lord's return. And so, I grew up kind of with a prophetic diet, and uh, even though I wasn't saved uh, you know, at the time, but now I'm I am looking forward to the Lord's return. And, um, you know, we really do need to be occupying. The time is short. I I don't know what, you know, the women listening, what their eschatology is or their views are, but, and I don't, I don't think we should make that a matter of fellowship, but the Lord is coming. We know the Lord is coming. And Peter says the Lord is coming. And seeing that he is coming, uh, we are to be holy and living righteously. And so we're to occupy till he comes. And so as Peter kind of winds down his epistle in 1 Peter 4, he says, you know, the end is coming. The end is coming. Therefore, we better be serious. That's the first thing he says. We better be serious. We better be sober. And, uh, you know, we live in a world, Edgar, that I think one out of two now Americans are on some type of psychotropic drug. And so when we consider that, that's very concerning in view of what Peter says, we must be serious. We must have our wits about us because the Lord's coming. And uh, so if, we're, if our mind is dulled by drugs or alcohol or anything like that, um, we are not going to be alert to be about what we're supposed to be doing, and that is the Great Commission. In fact, Peter says that we can hasten the day of the Lord. We need to be about evangelizing. And so uh, there's a lot of things that we should be doing, but we need to be serious. We need to be praying. Peter says be watchful in our praying. And I I would consider there the being watchful in our praying, not just uh, praying that we'll be able to endure whatever is coming, but also the opportunities to share the gospel with those that are lost and going down. Just in just a few hours, I'm going to be having uh, lunch with uh, one of my siblings who's lost, and I've shared the gospel with her over and over again. But again, I'm I'm impressed today. You know, I need to share. There again, the time is short, and uh, she needs to repent and turn her life over to the Lordship of Christ because uh, anybody can read, <laughs> read the newspaper and see what's going on. It's like, you know, the end is at hand. I mean, when you consider what's going on in our world with same-sex marriage, and, and now there's legislation out there with uh, parents wanting to introduce sex to their children by having sex with them, and we're, we're heading for beyond Sodom and Gomorrah. It's just vile, and so... Um, we must be about the gospel. So we must be serious. We must be watchful. We must have fervent love for one another. Uh, It's not a time for Christian people to be bickering with one another about silly things in the church. We need to be coming together. And I'm not saying coming together at the sake of doctrine, but I mean those of us in in bodies that are truly sold out to Christ. We need to be loving one another and serving one another and forgiving one another. So we're going to be we're going to be looking at how to occupy till he comes. And as I said, I don't I don't know what the eschatology view is of of uh, women, but um, and maybe some of them don't even know where they stand on some of these issues. But 
Um, and, and some of that is very important. I don't mean to diminish that at all, but the important thing is we need to be ready, we need to be watchful, and we must be about the Lord's business and fulfilling the Great Commission and evangelizing because the time is at hand and uh, the time is short, and I really believe that with all my heart. So I hope as we end with this session, how to occupy till he comes on Saturday afternoon, I pray that the women will go out with with a lot of uh, encouragement and zeal to uh, put away the idols of their life and the, the frivolous things that they're about, choose the things that are excellent, and be about the Lord's business because the time is short. So uh, I'm excited about our last session together. Thank you so much, Susan, for sharing a little bit of the great teaching that is to come. And for all the women that are out there who are listening, let me encourage you to register today so you can be a part of our 2015 Women's Conference under the title, Tested and True, Women and the Truth of Christian Suffering. This conference will be hosted at Cornerstone Baptist Church the 17th and 18th of July. Uh, You will enjoy a great time of fellowship, joyful worship, and biblical teaching. So take advantage and register today. You can do that online at www.testedandtrue.net. Once again, www.testedandtrue.net. And if you have any questions or need help with the registration process, please give us a call here at our church offices at 407-971-7685. 407 971 7685. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you at the conference. God bless you.